Where do scientists go to study food chain activity in a controlled, small lake environment? They come to the Experimental Lakes area in northwestern Ontario. For over 45 years, scientists have been using the Experimental Lakes area to conduct whole ecosystem experiments in a freshwater setting, amassing one of the largest and most complete data sets in the world on long-term changes in small lakes. Advancements in technology-based monitoring, such as hydroacoustic imaging, provide a fascinating picture of what takes place beneath the surface of lakes at the ELA. Scott Milne is the owner and operator of Milne Technologies, a hydroacoustic and aquatic resources consulting company, and has been conducting acoustic imaging surveys at the ELA since 2010. This technology is, 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 is called hydroacoustic technology. It's essentially using uh, sound or pulses of sound uh, to, uh, to send out essentially a beam of sound to ensonify targets within the water. So the bottom and fish and zooplankton all create echoes. And we can look at those echoes as they come back to the boat and come back to these computers. And that gives us some idea of, um, of numbers of fish, fish size, um, plankton uh, distributions, and uh, plankton abundance. And we can look across multiple trophic levels to, to get a better understanding of how uh, trophic systems all fit together in these small lakes. The ELA has been a testing ground for hydroacoustic technology, helping scientists to fine-tune methods that allow them to quickly survey the health of lakes. With the ELA's network of 58 freshwater lakes and the ability of scientists to design experiments for entire lakes and even for small watersheds, this unique research station is one of the few locations in the world where technology like hydroacoustic imaging can be calibrated in a natural setting. These lakes in particular have these very long-term data sets and of uh, stable fish populations. Uh, they're well understood and the systems themselves, at least this system, is one of the control systems so they're not manipulated so they stay constant through time. There's no harvest, there's not much chance of, uh, of invasion of exotic species in these systems. And, these are, and that's what makes it such a nice control system. They're well understood, so we can come in and calibrate some of these, um, these methods we're developing here and, uh, and, and have greater certainty that our uh, methods are, are, uh, are providing good data that we can take to other systems around, uh, around the country or around the world even. The unique contribution that the Experimental Lakes area makes to research and development of new technology is crucial to increasing our understanding of water bodies around the globe and to help us manage them sustainably. To learn more or to donate, visit our website at iisd.org ELA.